My two best horses, Buddy and Jerry, standing head to tail. They've carried me down many a trail. One's a strip-faced sorrel with a long red mane. Buddy's a blaze-faced chestnut with two socked feet. Long scar on his hip where he got caught between a gate and a fence in a real tight spot. We've lived in this camp for many years now, and them two are about the best I've had to jump in front of a cow. We're partners, me and those two. When it comes to cowboying, they know what to do. It's evening now, and the cattle are stringing out to graze after being shaded up on another long, hot summer day. And lately, there's been a waxing moon bright, making the coyote bark most of the night. And while the birds go to roost and the coyotes howl, the lion leaves his ledge for a night on the prowl. And in a few more days, when the moon's big and white, the bear will walk the country till long after daylight. And if he don't win the lion kill or some such meal, he'll shade up in a big juniper at the top of a hill. On the high ridges where the afternoon zephyrs blow, the big bucks lay in the shade, looking down at the valley below. Hawks and eagles are soaring around, screeching now and then, hoping to spook up a meal down there in the ground. There's a lot more critters. I can't mention them all, from the biggest down to the small, from the big range bull to the mama cow and her baby calf. Just to watching those calves play makes me laugh. I reckon critters mean a lot more to a man when there ain't no people around and you live way out in the camp, 50 miles from town.